guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. I have tried this the other night, like right before bed and right before I started my cleansing. I kind of just wiped my face with a AOA wipe and then put this on. I got two colors. I used the medium last night. But I have fair and medium because in the wintertime, like right now, I'm probably more of a fair color like this. But um, medium would be more for me like in the summer because I don't try to get a lot of sun. I When I was younger, I did lay out a lot. So I probably damaged my skin by doing that. And um, so now I'm really into protecting my skin, making sure that you wear an SPF underneath your makeup all the time, whether, you know, you should just wear it, just wear it just because the sun is out all the time. But yeah, so I've got both of these. I'm going to be trying this out. I'm going to use the fair this time because I think last time I used the medium and it did work out pretty good. I liked it. And it just sits on the skin really nice. I have no complaints of this whatsoever. Um, if this looks kind of light on me, I'm probably going to go in with the medium. So I'm just going to get them both out and ready. Because if I'm not feeling the light color, I'm definitely going to top it with this. And the packaging itself is really nice too. I love the gold and stuff that she puts in there. Okay, now since we're going to be working with powders today, I am going to make sure I hydrate my face really good. So before I even started this video, I took the Pharmacy Deep Sweep that I just got in my boxy and I took just a little AOA cotton round and put some of this on. It really does deep clean your face. I can just when I use it, I can tell that it's literally getting down into the pores. It just feels refreshing when you're done using it. I fully recommend this. I have added this to my skincare routine that I do on a daily. I will literally wash my face or sometimes I don't even wash my face because I didn't use makeup and I will take this to my face and just clean it off with this which mainly that's what it's for. And this is a toner. You don't have to wash this off. Um, so it, it does really make your face feel refreshed. I recommend this highly. It is really good stuff. I love it. I will be purchasing another bottle when that's gone. And then after I added that, I added this event. And this stuff smells so good. Okay, now it smells florally. It just smells like you walked into Von Mar. Okay, that's what it smells like. It smells like something skincare related from Von Mar. It smells expensive. It smells like you have some really high class skincare on. It smells amazing and it makes your skin so soft. Like my face feels so soft. I love it. I don't recommend the $123 for this little bottle, but it is good stuff and it smells really good. Okay. And then after I use that, I use this Dr. Brandt. This is $89, I think. And I have been trying this and I don't know, but my, the areas around my eyes feel like they're starting to tighten up for sure. I feel a difference in my face by using these three products just within a couple days. I feel like my face feels the best that it's felt in a long time. And that's a big thing for me because I love something that's instant. So this is an eye cream. It's a triple uh, peptide eye cream and it works really good. I noticed within 24 hours of using this that it was Chain, that it was making a difference. I feel like there is like parts of my eyes used to be like when I would squint, they would be real loose right here. And I'm noticing a difference of it tightening up. So I recommend this not for $89, but it is good stuff if you can afford it. Really good stuff. 
Okay, so that was my skincare that I used before I started this video. So that's what I have on my face right now. It feels just a little bit like I have skincare on my face. So now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I always go in with. It's my favorite primer. I love it. It hydrates the areas I need. Really nice. I love it. And you don't need too much of it. Like a little bit goes a long way with this. So we just rub that in. Take it down the neck. And then I kind of just blot it underneath the eyes and all my eyes like that. So it just soaks in real good in those more troubled areas. I'm probably going to be growing my eyebrows out so that I can reshape them. So they're going to look kind of crazy for a little bit. But I'm going to try to make them look as good as possible in the process of that. Okay, so we put on the Hangover Primer. Now I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the shade Swan. And I'm going to be using all the liquids first because we're using the powder. So you want to do that first, all the liquids, because then you're going to look cakey if you do everything kind of randomly. Okay, so I'm going to add that. This stuff is a little thick, so you might want to be a little bit quicker with it just a little thick I just need a little bit for up here we're not doing a full face of anything I'm going to take my little itty bitty sponge here and I'm going to blend this all in so I'm going to be using the Luxie 532 round top blending brush I'm going to be using the medium shade because I went a little too light with my concealer that I wanted so we're just going to dip in here, see there, and we're just going to add this. And this just sits so beautifully. It's really not bad at all for just a quick, you know, get going rub this on, I would definitely use a darker concealer next time. I don't go that light. I usually do when I'm doing like a, like a red lip or something, I'll go kind of light with my concealer. I wish I had a better camera so you guys could see like the actual like what my face looks like because it just looks really nice. It just sits on the skin kind of just like a layer of, you know, powder, but it doesn't sit like it's sitting on top of the skin where you can notice it. It's just beautiful. Okay. So I'm not going to add a lot of that because we're not trying to go too crazy, but I am going to add a little bit of the light in this area. So now I'm going to start on my eyes and I'm going to use this Ciate London. I'm going to be using this color here and this pink shade here. So it does come off really nice. I'm going to use this as my mirror. I'm just trying to stay with the shades of the colors I'm wearing usually when I do looks. So this is why I'm going with these colors. And I'm only going to use this shade. I'm just going to get it as dark as I can. And I'm going to take some to the bottom.
like that. And then I'm going to take this glitter shimmer shade on my finger and just add it to the corner of my eye. Look. And then put just a little bit at the bottom. That is the Ciate London Velvet Palette. I just got this in my Boxy Charm as well. So I'm going to do my eyebrows, but I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy with them. I'm just going to be adding my brow, um, my brow powder just a little bit. Let me get my shot a mirror here. And I'm just going to add it to where my hair is, you know, the darkest. I always cover the camera every time. Like, what are you doing? Every time when I go to edit, I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I doing that? Every time. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. I usually start over here and work my way to that side but all right my brows are gonna look janky for a little bit because i'm growing them out so don't mind them being uneven for a little bit they will look awesome when i'm done now i'm just gonna curl and take some of this uh this is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I cannot live without this. So I added that to the top. Okay, so I'm going to add on some black eyeliner. Okay, so we added the waterline, the black to the waterline. And I used the Hollywood and Vine. Okay, and then I'm going to add for blush. I'm going to be using the Amuse Dusty Rose. It's my favorite from Amuse. It comes in these round ones. The other ones before these round ones came out had scent, so I didn't like them. But... These ones are not scented, so I'm in love with them. Recommend them. So I'm just going to take, I dab right in there and just add it to my face. Just like that. What am I doing now? Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some more Laura Geller. And this is the High Def Glow Illuminator Duo. And these are the colors. Um, I think I'm going to go with this lighter shade. I think. Yes. All right, so I'm going to be going in with the AOA Studio F13 Highlighter Brush. This brush is my favorite. I love it. The F1 Kabuki brush is also, it comes in the double set, are my favorite brushes from Shop Miss A. So I'm just going to go into this lighter shade here and then add it on. And now I'm going to go in with my Luxie 111 brush. I'm going to go into that same color and I'm going to take it to the top of my brow bone. And I take it all the way up and all the way down to the crease of my eye here. And then I'm going to add this to the crease. Like that. Pull it down. Do the same over here. I love this color highlighter. It is just subtle and kind of nude, but it's almost like a skin, your skin color. Like it gives you that soft glow. 
you know? Ooh, it's so pretty. I love it. Okay. I like the corners of my eyes to pop. No matter what I'm wearing. Just like that extra glow there. But this is a neutral glow, so it's just going to give you that pretty, just, you know, sun glow. So yeah, we just used the High Def Laura Geller. Very pretty, very pretty. I'll do a couple swatches over here so you can see. Um, look at that. Yeah, there it is. Just really, really pretty glow. Subtle. It's subtle, you know? It's not too crazy. So there's that one there. And here's this one. Just very subtle. I love that, actually. You know, for a day that you're, you know, going and you want to be just natural, those colors are the best because they don't give you that pop glow. They just, it just, like I said, it gives you that subtle glow and makes you look natural. You know, I love that. I love that natural tone. I don't know. But for me, I'm just not really there yet with the whole brightness eye looks. You know, I just, I love a good smoky eye, but I don't love a dark, dark eye look. I just don't. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. Maybe I need to come out of my shell this year and do something different. I'm going to be adding on my favorite to matte AOA Studio liquid lipstick in Fleek and Naked. And I'm going to add Naked first. I have to get my AOA thing here. And I'm just going to add it. And I did use the lip mask. The AOA Studio lip mask last night. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with Fleek. I'm going to put this on the inside. Like that. And leave just the outline of the naked on the outside. And then I'm going to take my finger. These two are my favorite um, lip colors. It's really hard to get now. You can't get these colors. You can get naked, but you can't get fleek. They're always sold out. So I am like super stoked. I have extras that I can fall back on because they haven't had fleek back in in a long time, but these two together are just beautiful. And they're really, really soft too. Like the colors are soft. I like them. They've been my favorite for three years now and I... Others are good, but no, they do not compare to the Shop Miss A matte liquid lipstick for me. Okay, so that is it. And now I'm going to add on my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And then we are done. So I'm just going to add this. This is the finished look. It's just super simple. goes really good with my teddy bear and my teddy bear headband here. I'm rocking my poof today. I love it. I love when I got a poofy hairdo. I completely recommend purchasing these Laura Geller foundations. They are great. It's the Bake Balanced and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation, but it's powder two foundation and they are really good. I recommend you get them. They sit on the face really nice. As you can see, it really does. You look like you have foundation on and it's not. It's just powder. It's just powder. But um, and the Laura Geller high def. Sorry, there's a bunch of fingerprints. The high def highlighter illuminator duo. Super, super good. I recommend that as well. Laura Geller is starting to come out with some really, really good products. I know I had received a blush from hers, which I still have somewhere down here, which was a really, really pretty cream, ready color. Just very pretty. Almost had the same 
type of texture like this, but it was obviously a, um, a blush. Love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the Laura Geller link down below. So if you want to purchase anything that they have, you can. If you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Alrighty guys, I'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye.